much do you like this edition? Skip, I like the, I love the edition. I really do, Skip. I'm going to say it's an eight, but I really don't know how many minutes he's going to get considering you have Danny Green, considering you have KCP, you have Caruso. That eats up a lot of minutes. Now, you've got to remember the last time that LeBron and, and uh, JR played together, he was getting about 28 minutes a game on a team in which he was a starter and was heavily involved. Mm -hmm. Now that role is going to be reduced. Now, as far as a bad ball, ball shooter, that's the guy you want on the court. That's the guy you want taking the shot. Late in the shot clock, bail out at the end of the half, end of the quarter skip, falling out of bounds into the front row. You want J.R. Smith taking those shots. Skip, J.R. can play defense better than he's ever played. I mean, he can play defense, Skip, if when he wants to. Mm -hmm. When he wants to be engaged, he can play D. He can make tough shots. The question that I have, Skip, is, and remember, they also signed Deion Waiters. So now, Skip, how many minutes is he going to get? Avery Bradley was playing about 24, 25 minutes a game. But Avery was mainly a defensive guy. Yeah, he taking up, what, three, a little over three threes a game. Uh, JR, his last year with LeBron was taking about five, 5.3, 5.5. Mm. So my question is, Skip, yes, I believe with LeBron knows where he wants the ball, know exactly how to get it to him in his pocket. I just don't know how many minutes and how beneficial it's going to be. I understand we needed a roster spot. So for me, if he can come give us, say, six points a night, playing 15, 18 minutes a night, we'll take it. But, Skip, I just don't know where the minutes are going to come from mm. for JR. Mm. So, scale of 1 to 10, I will give this a 4, only <laughs> because the one thing I love about J.R. Smith, he will take and make impossibly big shots. He is fearless. He saved his game seven, is, Skip, on the is, road against Golden State. He did. He's cold-blooded. He just, he just doesn't care. He's fearless. Just give me the ball. I will shoot it at any place, he, at any point, at the will. end of whatever clock or at the end of the game. I will take that shot. Yep. You're right. When he decides to, when he needs to or really desperately wants to, he can play defense. Can. But that's not often. No. Now, not often. So what just happened was you replaced a starter. Avery Bradley started 44 games mm -hmm. out of 49 possible right. games this year. 44 times he started. Mm -hmm. The only reason he missed five is he's coming off an ankle injury, right. so he, they just eased him back into the lineup. Right. So you replaced a starter. With a J.R. Smith, who is not, by my calculations, he has not played an NBA game <laughs> for 619 days. Yeah. The last time he played an NBA game was November 19th of 2018. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yep. So what are you going to do? W would you dare to throw him into the starting lineup? No, or, no, or, no, no, Okay, no, no. Which, then what else do you do? Are you going to put Kuzma in the starting lineup? That might be. Okay, if, if you do, you're going to take the scoring punch, the electricity right. out of the second unit. Right. Kuzma is a great sixth man, a la JR back in 2013 with the Knicks when he was the sixth man of the year, averaging 18 points and six rebounds, shot 36% from three. But he made a lot of big shots for a Knicks team that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Kuzma right now. You need Kuzma to come in right. and electrify mid-first quarter or whenever just mm -hmm. as, as the shock troops leader, right? right? So if you don't put him in the starting lineup, are you going to put KCP in that spot? KCP probably will go into the starting lineup because I think, if I'm not mistaken, well, I think they started Kuzma when Avery Bradley went away. But but KCP has started. Mm -hmm. KCP can play D. He can knock down big shots. Uh, J Skip, JR is only going to shoot threes. He, he, that's all, he, that's all he, he's lining up behind the three. He's looking to knock down threes. Right. That's what he's going to do. But as you mentioned, when you got... Um, Danny Green, and you got KCP, and you got Caruso, and you got Deion Waiter, not JR. Skip, I mean. Okay, so I am also a fan of Avery Bradley because yeah. he was a quiet force on this mm -hmm. team. I think it's a, a significant downgrade to go from Avery Bradley to JR after he's been out of basketball right. for almost two years. Right. Avery Bradley had twice made first team, all the, not first team, he just made all defense, I think all second, second team. team. But still. You want to talk about a lockdown perimeter yes. defender? Yes. You want to talk about making big three-point shots? I'm going to remind you, your team beat the Clippers one time out of three tries. And in that game, which was the third game, the last time we saw these two teams go at it, Avery Bradley made six threes. He made four of those threes in the third quarter while the king, LeBron James, 
Yeah. Scored zero we in rested. the third quarter. Rest. Avery made four threes in the third quarter, and it tilted the game in the Lakers' favor. LeBron then came in in the fourth. Sealed the deal. Sewed it up. Yep. I will give you that. Okay. Okay. But the game tilted because this man made four out of the blue threes, which he is highly capable of making because LeBron is the he's the best three point setup passer in the game. At six feet nine inches tall, he can see over the defense. He can read. He can anticipate. Oh, yeah. You're open over there for a three. Here, I'll hit you right in the shooting pocket. Shoot it and make it. That's why Jr. loved playing with LeBron because. When Jr. gets hot, he gets real hot. Yeah, yeah, he lights up. Okay, all right. So the point is, <laughs> Avery Bradley was so steady. He was so dependable. He was so trustworthy. He set a tone on the defensive end right. that the year before they didn't have an right. Avery Bradley to help set that he's kind the, of tone. He's the guy that he's going to take. You play Portland, he's taking Dane. Yep. You play you play uh, uh, the Rockets, he's going to be either on James Harden or he's taking Russ. Yep. So you lose. You definitely lose a quality, mm -hmm. obviously probably your best own ball defender. On the team, there's no question about that, and it's it's. But you know, he had to do what was in best interest of him, and so not a Lakers. We got to go on and win this thing for Avery. Okay, win so, this one for Avery. All right, I I don't know that you're gonna win this one. Yeah, yeah, Avery, we gonna win it. We gonna win it. By the way, he is opting out of this for all the right reasons because he said family and cause. Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. obviously. So you you cannot criticize him one no. ounce for mm. saying no. It's not right to be playing basketball. Now, right. We're going to talk about Fred Van Vliet later in the yes. show, and he was saying the same thing yesterday, although he has opted in. He's saying this just feels like wrong place, wrong time to right. actually be playing basketball. Right. But Avery, leader of that coalition mm -hmm. that Kyrie was a part of, Kyrie can't play anyway coming off surgery, mm -hmm. was one of the leaders who said, I'm just not going to play. I think that's a big loss for LeBron, who does want to play, does want to make the sprint to the finish. Mm -hmm and see if he can, quote-unquote, sort of steal a, a four hey, championship. Steal. Well, whatever. You know, it's going to be a little tainted. It's going to be a little tainted. No, that, that tainted. Okay, see, but, there you go. Hold on. For, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. If we take it in the NASCAR scale, yeah. sometimes 500 miles is not enough. If sometimes we have a two-lap sprint to the finish. Okay. You can't say, well, it's tainted because you only won the last two laps or you won the last lap. No. Mm. I crossed the finish line first. I won the Daytona 500. Mm. So if they're the last team standing, if they win 16 games, they are the best team. Ain't no asterisk. You stop that. So if you win Daytona in two laps, it's not tainted? No. Boy, it is to me. No, it's not. That's, no, it's not. That's just terrible. Skip, you make it seem like, hold on. I'm not saying you come on there after everybody else is racing, then you just come on the track the last two. I ain't talking about no Rosie Ruiz. You know who that is in the New Do York I? City Marathon, mm -hmm. where she hopped on the train and ran like the last mm -hmm. mile. And she's like, I in, won, I won. Boston. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boston or yeah. New York? I believe it's Boston. But but it, the, oh, yeah, I won, I won. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you go down to the bubble and you play all these games mm -hmm. and you win, there is no asterisk. Okay, so I warned... My guy, J.R. Smith, yesterday on Twitter, be careful here what's happening because if this sprint to the no, finish... There you go. There if, you. If, wait a second. If this sprint to the finish goes wrong for LeBron James... See, I knew you were going to do the that. The GOAT, quote-unquote, I'm putting quote around GOATs, the GOAT now has his favorite scapegoat. Am I right, Shannon Show? No. That in the past, LeBron has quickly pointed fingers at... That guy. Skip. It was always JR's fault. A lot of times. The I don't man know. forgot he was playing an NBA okay, ball but, game. But, but it went on way before that. JR's shot is is APB. Put out a, 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 a warning. You know, we're, we're, whatever happened to a shot, right? You talk about that TV show Dallas. Who shot JR? Yeah. All we ever talked about, it seemed like, on this show was what happened to JR's shot? Where did but, it go? Skip, but you know, that last year in, in which they went to the final. JR was not shooting the ball like the JR that we had okay. seen the previous couple of years in uh in, in Cleveland. Okay. So so but you need to stop this. Talk LeBron about could always blame it on JR. You know why? JR would take it. He would hang his head in the locker room and say, He's right. I, I gotta start making shots, or he's right, I had a brain cramp. What whatever it was. And the ultimate moment came in game one yeah. at Oakland yeah. of the finals in 2018. You know what happened at the end of the game if we could see what happened. We don't need to see it. I, I want to see it. I can't watch it. I want to see it. Here's LeBron, and he gets the ball back, and he's got step on him. Shoot it. Shoot it. King, you got it. Just shoot it. What are you doing? Don't pass it to George Hill. What are you doing? Do you realize 
LeBron James had scored 49 points up to that point, 49 points. And he passed to George Hill when he had a 15-foot jump shot on Steph Curry. Just, just jab step him right now and just go up and shoot it. Shoot it from the top of the circle. Pull a Michael Jordan. Remember, they're down one at that point. He's as hot-handed as I've ever seen LeBron from the perimeter. But he had made 10 of 11 free throws. <laughs> All you have to do, jab step, go up, shoot a jump shot over six feet, three inch Steph Curry, mini Steph. Oh, no, he made it still. Well, well, come on. You're 6'9 <laughs> over 6'3. Why would you pass it to a guy you can't trust at the free throw? Oh, line? now we can't trust him. The guy's a career 81% free throw shooter. Now we can't George trust him. George Hill had never been thrust into a position of having to make two free throws to win the game. You're down one. You got to make them both. Skip, no, so I he made the first one and he missed the second <laughs> one. And of course, right on cue, JR took LeBron James right off the hook by grabbing the bat, made a great rebound on, on Kevin Durant. Great move on Kevin to get the basketball. He had a brain freeze. He lost oh, that's track. What it was? Well, he just lost track of the clock, and he dribbled out the rest of the clock. That's like me being on live television and just get up and go after the doorbell. Okay. I forgot I'm on live television. J.R. Smith, the guy, he's in an actual okay. NBA game. And despite that mental blunder by J.R., what then happened? You're tied with Golden State in game one going to overtime. Like, oh, we were done. Like you told, uh, like you told us, game six, we, we uh, got to overtime. We took you to overtime in San Antonio, uh, and you said we were shot to the heart. We were done. We were done. Okay, but in, in that case, you had the championship won, and all of a sudden you didn't have it won because of Ray yeah. Allen. Hold up. How you think we had a so you believe So we win one game. That's the championship? Wouldn't you like to have that leg up on that team? No. Yes, you would. Hold on. Game one at you overtime? Got, you guys had it. And then you still had game seven. Even if we win game one, we still got to win three more games in order to win. All you guys had to do was win one game. Did my guys quit in overtime of game six, 2013? Yeah, they, 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 they did not we quit. The it off. went right to the end of the game. Game seven went all the way to the end of the game. They did not quit. They were just psychologically wounded from the Ray Allen shot. So what, so they were up five with 18 seconds left, and they couldn't close the door and the deal on a championship. So you don't believe we were psychologically wounded? You, you your, got, still, your leader went and sat a seat away from the rest of the team as in, I don't want to associate with you guys. And your leader went into overtime and refused J to take a shot until you were down seven with two and a half minutes left in the overtime. Skip, J.R. pulled a Jim Marshall. You know what Jim Marshall did. He scooped up the a wrong fumble. way. Yes. J.R. Smith okay. was four feet from the basket. Okay, but but the, the deed had already been done by LeBron James. I don't need that. If, 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 you're, if, if you're giving me GOAT, the GOAT just goes right up and shoots that shot to win oh. the game. That's four seconds left in the game. Just shoot it. Pull right up and shoot the shot, and we're not having any – all of a sudden, you got a GOAT debate going now. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.